today I'm here with Amanda Devevec of Wadsworth Controls and we're at Donna Bidian Farms in their hydroponic greenhouse. And with any of these environmental control systems, you need to have sensors or a way to find out what the temperatures are. One of the systems you can have is an aspirated temperature and humidity sensor. So we have one right here to the right of us. And um, Amanda, I would love for you to describe how, what it is, how it works, and maybe we could look at cleaning it as well. Sure. So the plants actually go through photosynthesis and transpiration, mm -hmm. and they do that by air coming across the crop. So we're going to try to emulate that using an aspiration device. Okay. And inside here are the temperature and humidity sensors. So we do have temperature and humidity. Yeah. And it's pulling air through the filter in the front and out the back using a very simple fan. Okay. So we're trying to get as close as we can to the crop. Yep. and then make sure the environmental controller makes its decisions on heating and cooling using that temperature and humidity sensor. Okay, great. And this box that it's um, in, in housed in is being basically, it's protecting it from the sun so you get right. more of the ambient temperature and not the solar Correct. When you, when you have a basic soil probe, whether it's even covered with a PC, PVC pipe or a, any sort of plastic, it's taking direct sunlight on it. So you're not getting that true reading. Right. So we're trying to get as true as we can to really what the crop is experiencing right. versus just a basic sensor that might be five, six, seven degrees different than what really the lettuce is experiencing. This okay, is. wonderful. So this one, I can see it looks a little dirty. It it's is, got some it dust is. on it. So how often do you want to clean it and how do you clean it? So that's a great question. Clean filter monthly, that's okay. what we're going for. So the filter is real easy to clean. What I do is I just pop the shoebox style aspirator apart, I take the entire lid, I rinse it under some cool water, uh -huh. dry it off, and just make sure that I put the lid back on with the filter on the bottom, fan on the top. Okay. The interior is a little bit dusty, which is very common in a greenhouse. You can take a uh, kind of like an air gun that you use to mm -hmm. clean your computer keys and just spray that out of there. And other than that, if you ever have to replace the filter, it pops off real easy. The filter itself can just be thrown away okay. and you can apply a new one. That happens maybe once every six months or so and then you're back in business. Okay, great. So since this is sort of a one bay, one zone greenhouse, we have one for this area. But That's if you correct. had multiple bays, if it was gutter connect, you'd want to have multiple That's aspirators. Correct. That's correct, okay. yeah. And this comes in another version uh, as a temperature only. So if you were maybe heating and cooling just a small little head house yep. where you're doing your planting yep. and you're not worried about humidity, you could even do just a temperature only model. Okay, great. Well, thank you. You're welcome.